Hey guys, so welcome back to my channel. I thought I would just kind of do a sit down Q&A with you guys. I am at home and it's my off day. So um, yeah, I'm done with everything for today. I've been wanting to get a video up um, of just a Q&A and so that's what I'm gonna do now. Um, so welcome back to my channel. My name is Casey. I am a health and wellness coach based out of Nashville, Tennessee. And I compete in bikini. I've been a com bikini competitor since 2012 and have quite a bit of knowledge underneath me. I am not a pro yet, but I am working my way towards that. And if you want to know more about my story, you can just check that out in some of the other videos below. I'll try to find it and link it as well. But anyway, moving on, I get a ton of questions. I get a ton of questions from just random people and other competitors. So um, I just wrote down some quick ones and I want to just go over those. So. Um, the first question is, how long do I train per day? Really, this varies on if I'm in contest prep or in off-season. In my off-season, I train no longer than probably about 45 minutes. And I do very little cardio in the off-season. Um, right now, I'm just doing two 20-minute sessions of cardio a day. Now, during contest prep, that changes. And it really just varies on how my body is responding and things are going. I may train an hour and a half to two hours a day, depending on the amount of cardio that I'm doing. And everything that I'm talking about here does include weight training and cardio combined into one. So that just kind of varies on off season and contest prep and how my body's responding. So also the next question is, uh, why the tan? So we have to have a darker color tan on stage because the bright lights hit us and can wash out our definition. So that's why you have to get so dark and it's just gonna help you stand out and show your best assets on stage because when those bright lights hit, it can wash you out. So like for instance, my O-ring light is hitting me right now and it looks very pale, but I don't actually look like this in person. If I was just to go on stage very white, all my lines and definitions and everything would just kind of fade away because of the bright light. So uh, the dark tan, of course, like a dark color, absorbs that light and helps show your cuts and definition and all the hard work you've done. Um, so that's why the tan. The next question is, what is it like backstage? So again, this kind of depends on the show. So, it, again, it just depends on the show, but pretty much every show is almost run the same. And it's just a waiting game. You get back there and then you wait. Um, you've got a bunch of people back there. Some girls are doing their makeup. Some girls may be putting final touches on their hair. Other girls are practicing their posing. Other girls are just laying in the floor with their feet up. So it's just a waiting game backstage pretty much. Um, competition bag. Okay, this is a long one. I'm not going to go into it in depth. I'll probably do a separate video on this one. But in my competition bag, I always make sure I have extra makeup, extra tan, an extra suit, an extra pair of shoes, um, my food that I need to bring, and a pump up band. Um, if I can bring dumbbells, then I bring dumbbells. If not, then you just have the pump up band. But I also have extra. I was saying I also have extra jewelry. So I carry two of everything because if something happens, I wanna make sure I have a backup and I'm not scrambling around trying to ask people for favors to get something that I need. So I probably carry more than what you actually need, but I also like to be prepared. And I will do a separate video on my competition bag at another time. Um, suit color and picking your suit color. So go off of your skin tone. Um, you can look at the veins in your wrist and tell if you are cool or warm tone. I suggest doing research to try to find out if you're cool or warm tone and then sticking with colors that complement that. But you can't go wrong with a jewel tone color. So dark reds, dark blues, like rubies, sapphires, um, amethyst, uh, black 
you know, you just can't go wrong with any of the jewel tone colors. So I usually tell people when in doubt, stick with blue, green, or purple. It's really hard to do wrong if you stick with like an emerald green, a sapphire blue, or a dark amethyst purple. You can't really go wrong with either one of those three. Um, worst thing about prep. Uh, for me, it's the amount of time that it takes out of my day. I don't mind the food. I don't mind the training. What I hate is training for long periods of time and usually having to get up a lot earlier. I'm kind of like a mid-morning person. I like to get up around seven or eight o'clock. Usually when prep hits, I'm getting up at five and six a.m. because I have to get all of my training and work done before I start working with clients. So for me, it's that. I can stick with the food and be fine with that, but it's the amount of time it takes out of my day that really kind of is an issue. Now on the opposite end, what is my favorite thing about prep? This is my favorite thing about fitness in general, and that is seeing my body change. Like, I just think we have amazing bodies. Like, the human body is so, like, amazing. And there's just so much stuff it can do. Like, things that we don't even know that it can do yet. Like, there are scientists who haven't even found out the limits of our brain. So, I just think it's amazing the way you can change your body. I think it's amazing to see that. And when you go from an off season to a contest prep, like I love seeing all the hard work that I put in in my off season pay off in my contest prep. So that's probably going to be my favorite thing about prep. It's just seeing the body change and, and reaping the rewards of the hard work that you've put in an off season. That for me is just a winner. Now, this question kind of varies per person. It's how long does prep take? It can be anywhere for some people from 24 weeks, other people eight weeks. So it really just depends on the person. I've done an eight week prep before, I've done a 12 week prep before, I've done a 16 week prep before. I think this year going into prep, my coach Jamie Pender is going to have me start at about 18 weeks out and we're just going to slowly kind of move in that direction um, and not just completely change everything all at once. So again, it just depends on the person, but my preps just range on where I'm at in my off season. So like I said, it can be 8, 12, 16 or longer depending on the amount of body fat you have and the look that you're going for. So again, it just kind of varies per person, I would say. So next question is bikini meal plan. Okay, there have been so many things put out there that people are like, oh, you have to be on a special meal plan to be a bikini competitor. No, you don't. Like, you don't eat any differently than someone who's just trying to lose weight. Um, you just have to be more consistent with it and more dedicated to it and not kind of vary from that plan. So, there, I don't like the term bikini meal plan. I don't like the term bodybuilding meal plan. Um, I think if... I think a fat loss plan is a fat loss plan and a muscle gaining plan is a muscle gaining plan. I don't think we need to put any type of like terminology or label it in any type of way because it's really just a lower calorie eating meal plan. That's all that it really is. Um, so yeah, I don't, I don't do that. And best question, what is my favorite post show meal? I really love having hamburger, french fries, and some form of ice cream. So that's my favorite post-show meal. Hamburger, fries, ice cream. It never fails me. I love it. Um, sometimes if it's not hamburger, fries, and ice cream, then I usually end up going to IHOP and getting pancakes. So I like salt and savory, salt, salty and sweet at the same time. So I'll get like pancakes with hash browns and like a little egg white omelet and I'll eat whatever type of pancakes that I want though. Um, so it really just kind of depends I would say, but more than likely you're going to see me eating the hamburger fruit fries and ice cream after a show. That is my thing. I love it. 
it is just mm, so good so guys that's it for my q a those are just some of the questions that i've been asked on instagram and through messaging on facebook and things like that so people seem to get um I'm, I mean, there's a lot more questions, but these were just the, like, most popular ones that I got. So, um, the next video that I'll do with a QA and a is just going to be a general Q&A about myself. Um, I have a lot of people asking questions about that. So, anyway, that's pretty much it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, please subscribe, and I will check back in with you soon. I think tomorrow I'm going to post another workout video. Um, it, I think it's gonna be a combination of back and legs um, on two separate days, but I'm gonna combine the video. So anyway, thanks so much guys. Please hit that subscribe button. I'll check back in with you later.